read this question very very slowly an industrial load of 4000 kilowatt is supplied at 11 kilovolt the power factor being 0.8 lagging a synchronous motor is required to meet an additional load of 1500 metric hp and at the same time to raise the resultant power factor 2.95 lagging determine the kva capacity of the motor and the power factor at which it must operate take the efficiency of the motor as 80 percent according to this question there is an industrial load of 4000 kilowatt this load is operating at 0.8 power factor lagging and this load is supplied at 11 kilovolt there is a synchronous motor this is the synchronous motor this synchronous motor is required to meet an additional load of 1500 metric HP that is horsepower and at the same time to raise the resultant power factor to 0.95 lagging let us say that this load is drawing the complex power S1 and this synchronous motor is drawing S2 complex power from the 11 kilovolt line. The sum of the complex power drawn by the load and the synchronous motor is fed at the 11 kilovolt terminal as input. We can write as input the complex power input is equals to complex power drawn by the load plus complex power drawn by the synchronous motor. Now if we are able to write this equation we can find out the kva capacity of the motor and also we can find out the power factor at which this synchronous motor is operating so let us write the value of as input s1 and s2 see this according to the question there is a load of 4000 kilowatt operating at 0.8 power factor lagging so can you tell me the complex power drawn by the load the complex power drawn by the load will be 4000 divided by 0.8 angle plus cos inverse 0.8 4000 is the real power drawn by the load if you divide the real power drawn by the load by its power factor you will get the magnitude of the complex power drawn by the load so 4000 divided by 0.8 is the magnitude of the complex power drawn by the load this load is operating at the lagging power factor that's why I have written plus sign here because the load is operating at 0.8 power factor the angle will be cos inverse 0.8 if you solve this you will get 5000 angle 36.87 so in this way we have written the complex power drawn by the load now I am going to write the complex power drawn by the synchronous motor how much complex power this synchronous motor will draw see this
वन हॉर्स पावर मेट्रिक इक्वल्स टू सेवन थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव वॉट इन दिस वे यू कैन राइट फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड हॉर्स पावर मेट्रिक इक्वल्स टू एलेवन हंड्रेड थ्री पॉइंट टू फाइव किलो वॉट सिंक्रोनस मोटर इज रिक्वायर्ड टू मीट एन एडिशनल लोड ऑफ फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड मेट्रिक एच पी इट मीन्स द पावर आउटपुट ऑफ द मोटर इज इलेवन हंड्रेड थ्री पॉइंट टू फाइव किलो वॉट आई रिपीट दिस सिंक्रोनस मोटर इज रिक्वायर्ड टू मीट एन एडिशनल लोड ऑफ फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड मेट्रिक एच पी इट मीन्स द आउटपुट द रियल पावर आउटपुट ऑफ दिस सिंक्रोनस मोटर इज इलेवन हंड्रेड थ्री पॉइंट टू फाइव किलो वॉट बिकॉज इन द क्वेश्चन इट इज रिटर्न दैट द इफिशियंसी ऑफ द मोटर इज एटी परसेंट सो वी कैन फाइंड आउट द पावर इनपुट रियल पावर इनपुट टू दिस सिंक्रोनस मोटर इक्वल्स टू द पावर आउटपुट डिवाइड बाई द इफिशियंसी सो पावर आउटपुट डिवाइड बाई द इफिशियंसी इज द रियल पावर इनपुट टू द सिंक्रोनस मोटर to write the magnitude of the complex power drawn by the synchronous motor write the value of the real power drawn by the synchronous motor divided by the power factor let the power factor of the synchronous motor is cos phi 2 so the real power input to the synchronous motor divided by the power factor of the synchronous motor equals to the magnitude of the complex power drawn by the synchronous motor if you want to write the complex power drawn by the synchronous motor in the phasor form then write the magnitude of the complex power drawn by the synchronous motor angle minus phi 2 phi 2 is the power factor angle of the synchronous motor i have taken negative sign here because the synchronous motor must operate at leading power factor so that it can improve the power factor from 0.8 lagging power factor to 0.95 lagging power factor because this synchronous motor because the responsibility of the synchronous motor is to improve the power factor from 0.8 lagging power factor to 0.95 lagging power factor that's why the synchronous motor must operate at leading power factor because this, because this synchronous motor is operating at leading power factor that's why i have taken negative sign here in this way we have written the complex power drawn by the synchronous motor now look at this as to value the same thing i have written here if you solve this you will get 1379.06 minus j 1379.06 tan phi 2 so we have got the value of s1 and s2 can you write the value of the complex power fed at the 11 kilo volt terminal to write the complex power fed at the 11 kilo volt terminal we must write the magnitude of the input complex power angle cos inverse 0.95 i have taken plus sign here because the input power factor is 0.95 lagging because of the lagging nature of the power factor i have taken plus sign here and the power factor angle will be cos inverse 0.95 remember we have to increase the power factor from 0.8 2.95 lagging so we have got the the value of s1 
as 2 and as input. Put all these values in this equation and you will get this equation. See I have written this value here. The value of S1 is 500. The value of S1 is S1 is 5000 angle 36.87 so this is S1 and value of S2 is this put value of S2 here so this equation equals to so this equation is S input equals to S1 plus S2 if you solve this equation further you will get S input angle 18.19 equals to 5379.06 plus j 3000 minus 1379.06 tan phi 2 from this equation you can write tan 18.19 from this above equation you can write tan 18.19 equals to this is in degree from this above equation you can write tan 18.19 degree equals to 3000 minus 1379.06 tan phi 2 divided by 5379.06 if you solve this equation you will get the value of phi 2 that is 41.79 degree this is the power factor angle of the synchronous motor which is operating at leading power factor the power factor of the motor will be cos phi 2 that is equal to 0.7456 leading so we have solved the first part of the question in the first part we have to calculate the power factor at which the motor is operating so the power factor at which the motor is operating is 0.7456 leading. The second part of this question is determine the KVA capacity of the motor. To find out the KVA capacity of the motor you have to to find out the KVA capacity of the motor you have to find out the magnitude of the complex power drawn by the motor so this is the magnitude of the complex power drawn by the motor and this is the kva capacity of the motor the kva capacity of the motor is the magnitude of the complex power drawn by the motor that is equal to 1103.25 divided by 0.8 into 1 upon cos phi 2 we know the value of cos phi 2 put this value and you will get 1849.6 kva so this is the kva capacity of the synchronous motor and the approximate value will be 1850 kva the approximate kva capacity of the synchronous motor will be 1850 kva so the power factor at which the synchronous motor is operating will be 0.7456 leading and the KVA capacity of the motor will be 1850 KVA. So in this way we have solved this question.